What's up, low riders? It's Lois again, and I'm here for my assessment on Letitia Scott. Okay. Me personally, I genuinely like Letitia Scott. However, some of Letitia's behaviors, especially towards Melody, I do not like. Period. Letitia and Melody had a friendship long before the show. And in the interim of meeting Kimmy and bringing Kimmy into the Scott fold and other things, Letitia actually chose a side. She, and she chose the losing side. Let's just be real clear about that. She chose the losing side, except for her husband. I'm not going to say her husband is the losing side, but Kimmy for damn sure, because I believe firmly and in my opinion that Kimmy was, for lack of a better term, the other woman until Maurice officially got divorced. That is in my opinion. It is alleged. However, with bringing her into the Scott family, she saw Letitia as a young girl that she needed to mold into what she thought she should be. And in the interim, she intervened and interfered between Melody and Letitia's friendship. Letitia's biggest mistake was going back and telling Kimmy anything that Melody told her in regards to how to be successful, you know, with the blueprint and everything. That was Letitia's biggest mistake. She should have went to her husband and that was it. Once she started networking and making connections, then she could have shared with Kimmy. Cause at that point, once Letitia got a taste of what she would be in for in regards to networking with other successful people and other businesses, there would have been no stopping her. And there's still no stopping stopping her now, technically. She just needs to be guided. She needs a little guidance. Her husband's trying to guide, it, guide her a taste. But it seems to not be working because at this point, at this juncture, six years in, she's still mad. There's absolutely no reason for her to be mad at Melody. Melody has always been honest with her. She said that one of the things that upset her was because Melody didn't call her when her grandmother had passed away. And Melody explained to her. And then Kimmy's in her other ear saying, well, you know, and you know, and you know, and you know, and you know. Shut the fuck up, Kimmy. It ain't about you. Okay. It's about Letitia and Melody's friendship. I want Letitia and Melody to get back to where they used to be. Because I think them two girls together would be fearless. Letitia is also a very smart woman. Y'all can sit down and bring her anything y'all want to bring her in regards to her husband and what he's doing to her and everything else. But I feel like Letitia feels. If I can place my fingers on my husband, whether he's in Africa or Colombia or Las Vegas or anywhere, and I'm able to put and reach out and touch, that means by phone, text, whatever, uh, what, Gmail, uh, snail mail, who's the never's mail. If I can reach out and communicate with my husband and he's letting me know everything's okay, then I'm going to be fine. Okay, if I don't have a reason to believe that my man is cheating, please don't try to insert your thoughts and beliefs on me. And I think that Melody stopped doing that because she realized no matter what, you know, no matter what I say to Letitia, she's going to believe what she wants to say uh, or wants to believe anyway, which is pretty much what Melody said. I'm not going to say anything because you don't believe nothing I say anyway. She let it go. And that's what we all should do. Let it go. Let Letitia live her life. You know, she's learning, just like the rest of them are learning how to navigate the reality TV streets, how to navigate the comments from content creators and bloggers and everyone talking about her marriage and talking about her man and talking about everything. 
from the sun up to the sun down. Leave that woman alone. Allow her to grow. And it, I, I mean, if you have constructive criticism for her, yes, but this beat, trying to beat a woman down, especially a black woman, I don't like that. You know, I, I hear a lot of content creators and other people saying, it's, it's black women are the most disrespected, yet here we are, the ones that are doing the same things we're cussing other people out about. Stop it. Stop it. If she don't want to believe you, that's her prerogative. She doesn't have to believe you. Okay? She, what she believes is what her husband presents to her behind closed doors and away from your eyesight. What you see on TV is for TV. You don't see everything that they do. You get some information about the things that they do, but you don't know what's going on between Leticia and her husband. I'm not going to assume her man is cheating, and I'm not going to assume her man is not cheating. I'm not going to assume Leticia cheats, because you know, women, we, we cheat the best. He would never know when we cheat, okay? We're really that good, let me just say that, okay? We're really that good. But however... <laughs> Let's get back to the story. I think Letitia is a very smart woman and she did not get those degrees by accident. She did not pay for them. She literally went to school. We heard her talking about going to school on TV and asking her husband for help. We heard about all of this, but twisting her story to make it sound good for you, that's immature. It's lazy and it's immature because you don't want to see anything good in her because you think her husband is taking advantage of her, you want to make up stories about her. Well, let's not do that. Let's try to be better. You know what I'm saying? Okay, there's shit out there that we can fuss at Marcel, Marcel and Letitia for. But it doesn't have to be your husband is cheating every 75 seconds, okay? Let's be real clear about that. We don't know for a fact. None of us know for a fact what that man is doing. And if you do know for a fact for the people that say, I know, I know, I know, I seen, I seen, where's the evidence? The proof is in the pudding, baby. So if you don't have no proof or you're just talking out the side of your neck, please stop spreading that malicious gossip onto someone else. Please stop asking other ones, uh, other folks to take your side and believe what you're saying when you're starting to sound like Martel. Hello? And we all know he's an international liar, allegedly, and in my opinion. Okay, so stop telling Letitia what she should think and feel. Okay, that woman has a, a great sense. She owns Infinity Properties, commercial uh, property management company, and they're doing well. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, just because her and Marceau didn't make $20 million overnight like Stormy did does not mean that they're not good, good businessmen and women. And just because they don't say how much money they have all the time doesn't mean they're not good businessmen. And like she said to Stormy, we all fucking millionaires up here. So what the fuck is you trying to say? What the flipping dip is you trying to say? Oh, because you have two million more than I do, you better than me? Come on now. We got to be better and do better than that. I like Letitia. I want her and Melody to get their relationship back together. And I want her to stop listening to fucking Kimmy. Because the shit that Kimmy says that comes out of her mouth don't make no goddamn sense half the time. She's trying to sound more intelligent than anyone on the show just because she's older. Well... Not always does wisdom come with age. And um, Kimmy's a prime example. She waited for a man for eight fucking years. She knew that man was married. But see, we don't want to talk about Kimmy because it ain't her turn. It's Letitia's turn. And I want her to shine. She also needs to check her mama. That's it. You know, check your mama. Your mama's doing too much. She ain't got no business talking to the people your age and getting involved with their stuff. I, get, I, get, I understand it when she was on the show. She is no longer on the show because she was part of the cast or the temporary cast or whatever you want to call it. She ain't on the show no more. Tell mama to fall back. You got this, Letitia. And I know you have a voice. I just think sometimes you are a little intimidated with all everything that's coming at you from, you know, having to do a scene to having to interact with different people in the room 
who are not in alignment with what you do or how you feel and who you know are against you. Kimmy is against you, girl. Okay, let's be real clear about that. Kimmy is against you. Okay, because if she wasn't, she would have been cheering you and Melody's relationship on. And she said, well, hey, why don't we go ahead and take it, listen to what she has to say. Let's see what she's doing, you know? But Letitia, you can do this, girl. You have potential. You have super potential to be successful in anything you do and touch. If you stop letting the, 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 the Kimmies of the world get in your ear, your left ear, your right ear, your middle ear, your top ear, your bottom ear. You don't have to listen to anything they say. And write a business plan out for your next business, okay? Write a business plan out because I think that when you first came to Marceau and told him that you was going to go out, you did a great job for being somebody who was staying at home with the kids and then coming to your husband and explaining to him what you were going to do. And this is what he was going to do. And he was going to take it. And even though he complained, he stood by you. He complained because you upset the apple cart. Okay, sometimes we upset the apple cart. That's our job. We're supposed to upset the apple cart. Okay, we're successful. Why can't we be more successful? Okay, and why can't we help others in the interim? But Letitia, please. Sit down, make a list by yourself with no one about all the things you loved about Melody because we know that you loved Melody, okay? And all the things that you dislike about Melody. And I bet you the things that you dislike about Melody are the things that someone else told you that you disliked about Melody because you guys had a relationship where y'all could talk to each other and tell each other things before Kimmy got in your ear. And then, of course, Martel with his bull crap and then other people jumping in. Tell them to mind their business, okay? I'm rooting for you, girl. Peace.